So today was the first day of the World Championship. It was semifinals for our division. And we went out there and it wasn't our best performance. Um, we had a lot of timing issues, a little bobble in pyramid. Everything was just, it wasn't hit hard. It was a little bit shaky. And because of that, our scores reflected that. And right now we're in second. It's not over. We're behind by 2.8 points. And a lot of it was tech and baskets. Stunts. Uh, the big drivers and not so much drivers, but the comments and stunts were the handstand flip up. Every single group but one caught with bent arms. Every single one. And then the screenshot was every single base was apart. Okay. So that's why we have a 9 3 out of 10. So they think that we did one and a half ups, so we did double ups. So make sure tomorrow when we dip for the double up, their hips and their shoulders are squared to the front. If anyone's rotating early, they're going to call it a one and a half up. Does that make sense? Day one, it was actually a really great performance. You know, everything stayed in the air. We hit pretty solid. It was just the small things. Feet were apart, and we had a couple tumbling bobbles, and we had a pyramid bobble, and it wasn't our greatest performance. We hit better at showcase, and it's just really hard. The difficulty scores in pyramid and stunts, I don't understand. Well, basically, they said our all of our technique across the board was trash, guys. I mean, we, we felt it was a little messy, but you know, we didn't think that, that our score was going to be what it was. And when we thought it was a little bit of a shock, it, it was something that we were like, whoa, like. How do you guys feel? Speak. Huh? It was like <laughs> To go into a routine and like, we put on a good routine. It's not like, people would die to have that routine, but like, it's not us. We're more than that, we're better than that. And to hear like, your guys is like, take on what it was, and we have people telling us every single day they're amazing and they love us, but they're not you guys, they're not the judges, it doesn't matter their opinion. The only thing that matters is the judges, so like, coming in here and like knowing that like, it wasn't our best and like, we could have done so much better and we could have put like, a lot more out after all that we practiced with and, and like, I know that wasn't fully us, but like, we had a part in it. So it's really hard on ourselves, especially when it comes to these things, just because we know we've done so much better at the gym. We know we've done better when we have no warm up, you know? So it's just really frustrating for us personally, just knowing that we have done better. So right now we're here and we found a full mat to get the last final practice in. best place sitting in uh, sitting in our first day of world so we want to get extra practice in and you know we want to come in for about an hour run stunts run of the routines and you know be done. Today didn't go as well as we hoped um, we had I believe a stunt fall a tumbling bus and a bobble and it comes down to the same exact thing that they're going through right now legs are not coming together in between jumps hands I froze like the jump section literally half of you are down here half of you are up here like we know these we do T-jumps for a reason, so we know where to uh, place these hands. We have to make sure of that. My rewind bobbled, and that never happens. You know, jo Joey um, had a tumbling bust, and he never busts. It was just little things here and there. I think a lot of it was just overthinking from everybody, and maybe just getting frantic like it's world. They love you. They literally, the score she reflects that they love you, all the comments. The score, not so much. But those are the obvious mistakes that we made. We're gonna tone down whatever we need to tone down and make sure that we go out there tomorrow more confident and hit what we need to hit. Um, I think we're in second as of right now to Top Gun. We're super excited we made a second day because for a while we really didn't think, you know, with all those mistakes, it's not a guarantee that you're gonna make it a day two ever, even if we hit performance. It's not a guarantee and so we're really, really blessed that we get another chance and just another chance to go out there and just prove that like we really can do this. Shot, two and three, four, five, hit, turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five and seven. One, three, and hold. It's not hit, it's hit. Does that make sense? We need to see the explosion off the bottom. That's very important. Your legs and your arms are the two most visual things on your body when it comes to performance. When you create movement with your arms or your legs, it's what we can see from the very, very back row versus your lips. Up and one, up two, and three, hit four. Five, hit six, seven, hit eight. One, two, three, four, hold. Yeah, you're a little too fast and then you're too slow. You're gonna watch every word, so you need to make sure it's just like when you're doing really basics in summer. Right? Same thing. I'm one of the only kids in the gym that coaches here and has been a part of the Reckless Legacy and the Smallwood Legacy for sure. So like 
I think it's my job to kind of put myself in their shoes and also make them realize like, hey, like I get what you're going through, but trust me when I say like, let's not do it this hard way. Let's push harder and be as good as we possibly can be because the last thing that we want to do is go lose, you know what I mean? We're gonna do a justice group and then just this group. Let's go. Down, down, down. One more time. Hey guys, stop pulling on your claps. Clap, hit, it's a connection. Tight, hit. If you pull on your clap, you're pulling down as everybody's going up. Let's go. Stop. Five, six, seven, turn, eight. Do it again. You guys, this should take like five minutes. We have an hour's worth of things to fix. Let's go. If I have to buy another hour and keep us here from eight to 10, eight to 11, I will. We're gonna get it done. Let's go. One, and three, four, five, seven, up, one, two, and hold. Catch, catch, catch. What's going on with this rewind? That's, this used to be my most solid one. Three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three. Next group. I'm just tired of making the same correction. In this sport, you can't relax. Because for every minute you're relaxing, someone else is working harder. And that's just the bottom line, and I gotta remind them that all the time. And that's ultimately my biggest struggle with this team. Cheerleading is definitely mental because you're constantly battling yourself between your body wanting to give up and your mind saying, can I do this or can I not do it? Let's go, you guys, there's nothing in this world you guys cannot handle. If you can handle NCA, you can handle anything. Let's go, and one. So it's just a lot up here that goes into it that no one really talks about, but it's definitely like cheerleading is a big mental game. Uh, Libs, after the double up, I want to see his five, six, seven, stop there. Let's go. Point that toe. Head should be down. And clean, do it again. And one, one, two, three, shut. Good, five, six, seven, clean. One, sponge, three, good. Out, and two more. So today for day one, we actually hit a zero deduction performance. We didn't have any mistakes that deducted from our raw score, but what happened that made our score lower than we usually, or where we want it to be, is the small things, the technique, the drivers, the lack of timing, the lack, they said we had a lack of technique in executing our stunts. Five, seven, up, eight, one, three, five, hold, block. We don't care. That's like a rhetorical question. There's no answer to that. Just freeze. Do it again. Don't make excuses. Produce results. Get up. Eight, one, go three, go. Next group. And can you guys go hold a push up right there? Go hold a push up right there. Hold a push up right there. And I can see your toe from the front. Five, six, seven, and one, two, and three. Shut. Seven, and one, two, three, and four, and five, seven, eight, one, three, and five, hold. I've been to Worlds last year, but last year I fell. It's really disappointing because you start training in summer and then you have to get better and better, and it takes months and months of training all just for two minutes and 30 seconds on the floor, and it could all just go away like, like that. <laughs> Breathe, take your time, lots of mat talk. Got it? Again, this, we're not mad at you. We're not mad that we're not in first place. Like that's, that's not it. This is all for you. This is not for us. We've done it. Binder done that. This is your chance. Some of your guys will never get another opportunity. Some of you, this is your last opportunity. Got it? So think about what you're doing on the mat. You have each one more run and then we're out. They can't give up when times get hard and when they're tired and when they're not in first going into day two. It's not the, op the option and for us is not to come to practice and keep dropping. It's the time for us to come in and get better. There it is! Let's go! Catch, catch, catch.
count. Five, seven, one, three, point close. Get off the floor. Get off the floor, Reck, let's go. And get off the floor. No, that's it. They're done. Huh? They're done. That's it. Oh, there's one more. There's nothing else I can Hey guys, do. it's really frustrating. Just the people up here want it so bad for you. There's nothing else I can do, man. That's all I got. I got nothing else for you guys. Nothing. Listen up! What the hell y'all doing? You coming in this place? You gonna let both teams take this shit for y'all? When you both know you work too damn hard! Enough! We are not going tomorrow, and you are not going to go in there and let somebody else take it from you! Do you hear me? Yes. How hard do y'all work? Woo! How hard? What? Tell me! How hard? Why are we doing this to ourselves? I feel like, in a way, just because I was a part of Smart and Reckless, I feel like I know what's happening. I've been here before. Like, you can count on me and you can rely on me, but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna baby you and rub your back and say, it's okay, sweetie, and, like, try harder next time. Like, no, it's not try harder next time. It's make it work. That's what it is. Stop disappointing yourself. Stop disappointing your teammates. You work too hard. This ain't about them. It ain't about Orby. It ain't about Callie. It ain't about Eddie. It's about you. It's about what you wear on your chest. Ready for a chance. Sometimes Cassidy does say things that it needs to be said and some other, you know, some of our coaches, you know, don't want to say it to us, but Cassidy doesn't care. Cassidy will say what it is right then and there. You understand? Yes. We are family. We are family. We can't do it without each other. So y'all better find each other up. No! Let's go! I kind of just like went off, like, I kind of honestly, like, I saw red for a second just because, like, I care a lot and I love them to pieces and I, they could have a chance to do so well and I just want them to remember that, remember how great they are and where they come from and just remember that, like, we have their backs, they have to just keep pushing. This is the final lap. This is it. You guys will never see each other again. Some of you guys won't. Some of you guys are going to go away. You need to remember that this is your time to shine. This is the final lap, guys. Faith over fear always. Remember and believe in yourself. That's when we really need to come together. That's when we yeah. show that we're one heartbeat because we need to pick each other up because he's not always going to be there. He's not always going to be that person to pick you up. Sometimes he needs to beat us down to get it into us. So we need to act like that one heartbeat that we know yeah. how to be. We saw our showcase. Like, just stick together. Don't and have fun with it. Right now it's mental training. Like, we know we can do it. He's beating us down right now so that tomorrow we don't have any more doubts in our mind. So that tomorrow when we get back to we're not questioning. We don't have dry faith. It's like, right now everything that they're doing, they're doing to benefit us so that we can win tomorrow with confidence. Yeah, everything they're doing right now, you have to make that. You have to make it mean. But they're doing it for a reason. Like, we, we've worked too hard all damn year. We have one more day. Like, oh, so like, I'm not gonna go down without a fight. I know none of us are. Don't give up now. There is something about being in second place where you are so close to it that you want it more and it's something that we know we've wanted that this is our last chance at it and we're even though we're exhausted and tired from being out and competing today you know you're never too tired to be a world champion Boys. It's game day boys. Hey, let's get it. It's time to get in this 
arena. Sorry, I forgot where I can be. What day is it? Game it's day. game day. What day is it? Game day. What day is it? Game day. Thank you. Game day! What day is it? It's game day. Oh, that is not a cute cool. All right, y'all, we're loading the vans. Malia, what day is it? Game day. Yeah, what day is it? Game time. Oh, we need to listen to the days and the times. It's finals, baby. Yesterday, we didn't have the best day one. There's always room for improvement, as always. You know, sometimes we do like to think of if you don't do perfect day one, you can redeem yourself day two. But for day two, all I'm just trying to tell myself today is for day two, calm and collective. We've done this a billion times. We have gone undefeated this whole entire season. There is no reason why we can't do this again. All right, listen up, guys. So, like, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like all good vibes today. How do y'all feel? Yeah. Yes. I know, I'm excited. I just wanted to say, we know what to do. We've been through hell and back. Let's do our job today and let's like get it done. Like, all good vibes. Like we've been saying, that's a sign, that's a sign, that's a sign. Okay. Yeah. Can we not go out there and look nervous? Yes. Yeah. Literally. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. Do you guys see how far those judges are? Do you guys see how far? Do not hold back. Cause those judges are so far. Even a slight little smile, playing nothing on your face. They're not gonna see. This. You need to look dumb. You need to feel crazy and extra. Not only that, but like the more energy we have on the floor, the more the crowd yeah, that we have, and that gives that energy from the crowd and us feeds into the judges too. So and it gives, them that's what gives them the feeling. Guys, we know what to do. Let's go. Attack this routine. We just have to keep it together and just keep the nerves down and just tell each other how much we love each other and how we're gonna do this for ourselves and for each other. Because at the end of the day, that's who matters, ourselves, our coaches, and this team. And we just wanna prove it to each other rather than the whole world. Hey, let's pick names and take ass. Yeah! Who's hungry? No, that was not loud enough. Who's hungry for a zero today? I feel confident. Last night we had our team talk and everyone kind of just poured their hearts out to each other. We have a super selfless team. Everyone, I think our biggest fear is letting each other down. Usually people are in it more for themselves. So I'm excited for us to go out on the floor and I hope, I hope the whole audience and the whole world can see that, that we just truly love each other and want to win to see each other happy. Thanks guys for watching Cheerleaders and don't forget to subscribe to Awesomeness TV.